Weddings are always a memorable occasion, and a Shortland Street wedding is no exception. Here are our selects for some of the most memorable shorty weddings. Now I pronounce you husband and wife. Lovebirds Ali and Lucy had a romantic wedding that celebrated their different cultures. Following traditional Islamic practices, the wedding involved a beautiful ceremony and a non-alcoholic party. But that doesn't mean it wasn't full of drama. Rachel, you made it! Rachel McKenna, who had fallen off the wagon and was doing battle with her own demons, turned up drunk. I will not let go. They hate you, just let go. In 2020, Boyd and Zara finally got their happily ever after. I love you. I love you. I now pronounce you husband and wife. This wasn't the first Bollywood inspired wedding on Shortland Street. What is this? Oh, be patient, freckles. All will be revealed. But it was certainly one to remember. Jays was the first same-sex civil union on New Zealand television, and as has become common on Shortland Street, the on-screen event reflected the tensions in parts of our society. to know what kind of family brought you up to be so rude. Pardon? You should have been taught manners, not hate. God doesn't hate anyone in his family. Well, if you don't stop offending mine, I'll have no choice but to call the police. But eventually the ceremony went ahead. All right, we've done what we can. I'll pray for you. And it comfortably finds its place in Shortland Street history as one of our most memorable weddings. Maya, you have taught me trust and unconditional love. You have made me happier than I have ever been. I promise to keep loving you as strongly, as deeply and as gleefully as I am able. With this ring, I entrust with you my heart, my mind, body and spirit. Jay, you are my world. You make me laugh, you make me feel safe. With this ring, I entrust you with my heart, mind, Body and spirit. Brides, you may seal your vows with a kiss. Have we heard from Bridesmaid 3? My phone is off. Boyd and Harper had planned what should have been one of Shortland Street's most iconic weddings. It was to be full of special guests, surprise vows, and much, much more. Hi Chris, tell Boyd not to panic, we're on our way. We didn't make it to the venue, we're at the hospital. But the oh-so-familiar Ferndale Christmas curse struck. 
doctors and we walked into a hostage situation. A what? And a dramatic armed siege at the hospital cafeteria brought their plans to a standstill. Hi, groom. Yeah, it's me. We're outside now. Hello, bride. Oh, just a second. However, there was still a wedding, with Dana deciding to make the most of the situation and spontaneously marry fiancé George. This is my fiancé George. It's lovely to meet you. I should probably give you my card. Oh, thank you. My rates are very reasonable. Or free if you want to get married today. <laughs> Actually, um, marriage licence is in the car. For real? Will you marry me? Today? Yes. A hundred times yes. <laughs> But as romance played out for Dana, Sorry. there was tragedy back at the hospital. No. I love you, Dad. My darling George, I wasn't looking for love either. I stopped believing in it until I saw you for the first time and then everything changed. I want to see where this feeling takes us. Because I love you. Now and forever. No rings? We'll get them later. Well, in that case, in front of all those here present, I declare you to be husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> the 2015 season drew to a close with celebration and tragedy. <laughs> Santa Lucia, Santa Lucia, venite alla ginestra. No way. I'll go for him, you go for the gun. Michael. Bring the baby to me. No, I can't let you have her. You don't touch my grandchild. You leave her alone. She's an innocent baby. You can't take her away from her mother. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Why don't you get it? If this is the way we all get out of here. Now bring me the baby. I'll come to and take both of us. No. I won't let you take her. I can't. You don't care about Santa? Huh? Bring me the baby. Now! Yes. Beautiful, we're here in tons of time. My plan, exactly. How about have we got the right church? Very funny. There wasn't a dry eye in the house when Kirsty Knight walked down the aisle to marry Lionel Skeggins. The long-awaited culmination of an iconic Shortland Street romance. Things were going swimmingly until Stuart Nielsen, prompted by uber villain brother Daryl, interrupted the wedding to declare his love for Kirsty. Therefore, if any of you have any reason why they may not be joined in matrimony, you should declare it now. Very well. Lionel and Kirsty. Wait. I'm sorry? You have to stop. There's something I have to say. Kirsty, I love you. We've both tried to deny it, but it's too important. I can't let you do it. Come on, let's just go. Is it what you want? Lionel, you don't understand. <laughs> What's not to understand? <laughs> Seems pretty clear to me. What? And that's our Shorty Selects for this time. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for even more Shorter Street from the archives.